Hey up guys, the wrestling sex icon is back, or should I say, the streaming icon. Thanks to everybody that checked out the stream yesterday. We streamed 2K18 My Career Mode for about an hour and a half, and we got over 100 new subscribers to the channel. Is there anything this man can't do? Thanks so much to everybody that checked it out. At one point, we had over 100 people watching this guy watch Career Mode Live. Are you guys mental? I'm not particularly sure, but thanks a lot to everybody that watched it. You can actually watch the stream on the channel. I'll link it up above, um, and you guys can go watch it if you missed it. And if you don't want to miss a stream again, turn on those notifications, people. So, if we can get 100 likes on today's news video, I will stream again, career mode again, this week. Let's do it. 100 likes. Can we do it, people? Remember to subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys could comment down below your thoughts and all the things we're talking about today. So, what is the Kush talking about? Well, the Kush is talking about Baron Corbin's new role. Yes, it's true. They've actually found something for him to do. 205 Live is getting a new superstar debuting soon. Kane talks about his retirement. Is he returning for one more match? And there's been two huge matches announced for Raw next week. That's right, I'd like to send out a huge congratulations to Baron Corbin. They've actually found him something to do. Now we found out on Raw that Stephanie McMahon has made him Constable of Raw. Sorry, I mean Constable of Raw. Now what does this entail? We're not particularly sure yet. There has been rumours in the last few days that it will mean Baron Corbin is starting a feud with Kurt Angle, which could culminate at SummerSlam 2018. But WrestleVotes have actually confirmed that they haven't heard anything about this at all, and it's very doubtful that this will happen. Kurt Angle versus Corbin, thankfully, is off the cards. What is more likely is that Corbin has started this role so that he can move into a feud with Kurt Angle's son, Jason Jordan for SummerSlam. Apparently that's a lot more likely than Kurt Angle facing Baron Corbin at SummerSlam. Where is Jason Jordan? Well, Jason Jordan apparently now is fine. He's going to return. He's been backstage in the last few weeks at pretty much most WWE shows. They just haven't had anything for him to do, so they've kept him off TV. But this apparently could be the next thing for Baron Corbin and Jason Jordan. Also, there is a rumour that if Baron Corbin does not feud with Jason Jordan, that Jordan could, again, team up with Chad Gable now that he's on Monday Night Raw. That's the rumour. During last night's 205 Live show, they announced that Leo Rush will be making his debut on 205 Live. Do you remember when Leo Rush got yelled at by the entire WWE roster for joking about Emma's release? Um, he made his return on NXT TV in January this year, only to be crushed by Lars Sullivan. So it's a bit weird that the fact he's rarely been seen on NXT, he's off to 205 Live, boys. He's making a massive jump. He's coming to 205 Live, and with the Cruiserweight Championship not really having a true number one contender at the moment, could it be Leo Rush? It's been rough. It's been rough. It's almost been as rough as my arse the other week. Monday Night Raw has been terrible the last few weeks, but thankfully the last show before Money in the Bank is next Monday. Two huge matches have been announced, which could potentially make it better. I'm not sure. Following Balor's monstrous stomp on Kevin Owens from the ladder, Braun Strowman eating a ladder alive in his match against Bobby Roode. We're going to get a big match on next week's Monday Night Raw. Bobby Roode against Kevin Owens, against Finn Balor, against Braun Strowman, Stephanie McMahon, Kurt Angle. They do what they want. They've given the people what we want. Fatal four-way action on next week's Monday Night Raw. And it doesn't stop there, people. Alexa Bliss, Ember Moon, Sasha Banks and Natalya, they'll also have a fatal four-way match because who doesn't love a bit of women's action six days before Money in the Bank? Kane, the scary man, has revealed if he's actually retired from WWE after all. Now, as you know, Kane is trying to be mayor of Knox County, Tennessee, and he was asked, would this mean the end of Kane? What's gonna happen? Now, Kane said in an interview with ProWrestlingSheet.com's Ryan Statin, I never rule anything out. It would be great to have a pay-per-view here in Knoxville we haven't had one in forever. If there was a pay-per-view, it would be an honour for me to take part in that. Kane is one of the favourites to actually be elected as the mayor, and I've heard he's threatened all the residents with a choke slam if they don't vote for him. You clever, clever shit. So it does sound at this point that Kane is basically retired. He's basically retired. It's a sad, sad moment, people. So what do you think about this news? What do you think about Baron Corbin potentially facing Jason Jordan in a feud come SummerSlam? We've got Kane... He's pretty much done. Kane's pretty much done. Two huge matches for Raw. Leo Rush, he's making the jump. 
to 205 Live. How's he done that? I'm not really sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button. Let's get 100 likes for another stream, which I'll probably do this weekend if we do get those likes. Thanks for watching, people. Check out these other videos. Follow me on social media. It's at Tom Cushney on all of them. It couldn't be bloody easier. Take care. Spike your hair.